Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game I Dig. I thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Game of Thrones discussion. And this is going to be talking about Final Fantasy's changes. So there are people that are assuming that because Final Fantasy has been changing its scope as of late that people are mad because they hate the changes for Final Fantasy. Now, I've said this probably within the last couple of years, that some things about how Final Fantasy rolls out its games, how Square rolls out Final Fantasy games doesn't make any sense. Because you have numbered entries which would indicate a main line. If you have a main line, there should be an air of consistency among the main line. I'm not talking about something like Final Fantasy Tactics, which is its own thing, or Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, which was its own thing, or the little spin-off games that you have that are fighting games, this Dissidia, I think. I'm not talking about those games. I'm talking about the numbered series for Final Fantasy. I'm not even talking about when they have a main game and then that game has a follow-up, because those two games are obviously going to feel the same. But the slow churn away from being what Final Fantasy originally was, which is a turn-based RPG, to a more action-oriented Devil May Cry style game. I can understand why people who were fans of the series, especially longtime fans of the series, would be a little bit irritated because it's like you're washing away the thing that made the series popular. You're washing away the thing that drew people to the series in the first place. You're washing away the thing that made people fall in love with it. That's why people are getting upset. That's why people are mad. That's why people are angry. That's why people are turning away from Final Fantasy 16. There's no reason that Final Fantasy 8 and Final Fantasy 16 should be that drastically different as far as the core of the game. That's a problem. Final Fantasy VIII is the halfway point of the mainline series. That's a major problem. You don't go to a Shin Megami Tensei game and expect to play Sonic. You don't go to play a Persona game and expect to play Contra. You go to those games for what they are. And yes, I know they're the same series. One is a spinoff of the other. But there's consistency among them. Yeah, there's going to be some differences and variations in gameplay. There's going to be some things added and taken away. But there's consistency in the styling. Just like Shin Megami Tensei Devil State Survivor. That's its own thing. It's still part of the Shin Megami Tensei series. It's a spinoff, but it has its own branch. There's nothing wrong with Final Fantasy having an action series of games. They've branched off before. That's not the problem. The problem is you're working on mainline games, but then you're changing the core of what makes the series the series that is upsetting people. Nobody's mad that Final Fantasy 16 exists. They just think, hey, maybe this shouldn't be Final Fantasy 16, but maybe, you know, Final Fantasy blank, blank, blank name in, in place of it instead of the 16. Instead of making it a mainline game, make it a spinoff. You could use the exact same mechanics and make it a spinoff of a main game. Utilizing characters, adding to the story, building the world, adding lore to one of your, your universes. But they're not doing that. They're reshaping what Final Fantasy is. And that is upsetting to people. You can't go to, you can't play Mario plus Rabbits and say that is the mainline Mario game. You can't. It's not. It's drastically different. It's a spin-off series. The core Mario games all have platforming as their main element. And Mario has a ton of spin-offs. But the core of the franchise is still the core of the franchise. Legend of Zelda is action adventure. I don't know why people keep throwing it up in freaking RPG, but it's action adventure. It's always an action adventure. The core of it is still the same. Yes, there's been experimentation 
along the way, but the core of the game is still the same. It's still action adventure. That's its main attribute. That is the main thing about it that draws people to it. So I, I don't get or understand why people have this whole idea that you can change the core of something from its original identity and then the people that were highly attached to that original identity wouldn't get upset. Because that's what made the thing the thing for them. It's not weird, it's understandable. That would be like t today if, <laughs> this is gonna be a weird, weird example, but if Popeyes went from making chicken and biscuits to making hamburgers. It would blow everyone off. It would be confusing for people and people would question why they did it. Or hey, you go to an Outback Steakhouse, but instead of serving steak in the menu at all, they changed all their items to fish. That That's the thing that's bugging people. It, it's not, hey, Final Fantasy can't do something different. It's, this is probably not the best space to do something different because you're changing the expectations that people have for what is the main theme, the main identity of it. I don't know why that's so difficult to understand for so many people. I don't get why that's so hard to comprehend, but I, I figured that out within moments of seeing the argument starting. And I said this years ago, that Final Fantasy is inconsistent with its numbered series, with its main line, because of the fact that they have so many different styles of gameplay in its main line. And it's jarring for people, especially if you've played everything up to about Final Fantasy, I would say 13. And then after that, the numbered series changes up quite a bit. It, it, it becomes a problem. And even then, with back then, with the numbered series, there were still a lot of changes and things that were changing what the identity of Final Fantasy was. Changing it from a fantasy RPG to, oh well, it's loosely an RPG. Hey, there's more action in it. And it's irritating to people, especially for those who have followed it and loved it for a long time. There's nothing complicated about this. There's nothing hard to understand. It's, hey, we, we embrace changes. Hey, do a spinoff, but don't change the core element of what made the franchise great or what made it the thing people love and enjoy. So for all of the people that are saying, okay, well, this is some weird hatred of Final Fantasy. No, it's not a weird hatred of Final Fantasy. It's just that things are changing in ways that are not working for the fandom or at least a large portion of the fandom. Yeah, there are some people that just don't care because to them, a game is a game. They don't care what happens. But some people like the consistency, like things to, it doesn't have to stay exactly the same, but there has to be something about it that's familiar to the rest of it. That's the difference. And I think that's why a lot of people fell off from Sonic when Sonic became more about the speed of the gameplay versus the momentum of the gameplay. If you understand what I'm talking about. When it became about the speed of the gameplay, Sonic started to feel off a little bit. And then, yeah, like you could say it was always about speed, but in, in reality, the way the game was played it was based upon momentum versus speed. Yes, you could have a lot of speed built up over time, but the main mechanic of the game was building Sonic's momentum to make him move faster. And the 3D games kind of focus more on him having a higher speed versus him building momentum to attain a higher speed. But that's honestly that one splitting hairs. But again, just consider it from the standpoint of you have a video game series that you love and there has been a consistent thing about that video game series <laughs> and then it got changed and it became drastically different from what it was and you can understand 
why people would be upset about a lot of the changes that drastically happened with the numbered series of Final Fantasy. If not, then at least try to put yourself in their shoes instead of just saying, well, you just oddly hate Final Fantasy now for some reason. That's not what the case is. That's it for me. Thank you guys very much for listening again. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out, everybody.